Hey guys, it's Alicia. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. I am doing something that I have not done in 12 years, and so I'm kind of excited. We are in Lynchburg, Virginia right now, and we are at the Terry Subaru dealership. I think I said that right. And we are here to pick up my new car. So I am really excited about this. I have had the same car for 12 years. Um, in fact, I bought it 12 years ago this month. I currently have a 2008 Subaru Legacy and I bought it in September of 2007. So 12 years later, I am here to get a new car. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you in and show you what I'm getting. Okay guys, um, here it is. I did not get any footage or pictures of it at the actual dealership because that was kind of a, well, I wouldn't call it a crazy process, but kind of a long process and I just didn't get to getting any pictures. But got it home and I wanted to film it real quick before it got dark. You can see the sun is starting to set here. But here it is. There's the side of it. And... the front of it and the back and the neighbors are shooting their guns so <laughs> sorry about that okay so what I got was a I'm hoping they're gonna stop shooting here in a second what I got was a Subaru Outback limited XT and I think I said that right but I've got the window sticker in here I'm gonna show you here and this purchase was kind of a spur of the moment thing Go ahead and open up the back here. Just start back here. Let's. That's picking up, but here is the back seat. And these seats are heated, they're leather. This car has got so many different things going on with it, I'm probably going to forget half of it. So I will just show you the actual window sticker here. Here is what it is. Like I said, 2020 Subaru Outback Limited XT LDJ. I don't even know what that is, but anyway. Um, and here is what it comes with. Sorry, the light is horrible. And the neighbors are still shooting their guns. That's what happens when you live out in a rural area. So that's everything that it has. Like I said, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't actually even do a whole lot of looking into this car before I actually bought it. It was kind of a spur of the moment, I think I said already. My hubby just decided that he wanted to get me a new car. And so we looked at cars, I think it was Wednesday. Today is Friday and we have bought one. We went over and looked at them yesterday at this dealership. The first dealership kind of sucked, to be completely honest. They didn't even want to show us cars, basically. And it was just, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Didn't want to test drive, didn't want to do anything. So we went over to Lynchburg to see what they had and saw this and bought this. Um, my car, my legacy that I have, and it is right over there. Don't know what we're gonna do with that yet. Either gonna give it to my daughter or sell it. And they are still shooting their guns. I am sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I had to do this before the sun set though, so gunshots we get. Anyway, um, had no plan on actually getting this car, but we did, so. My hubby's a sweetheart, he wanted to get me a new car. He's had the truck there, which you can't really see, Ram. We got that in 2015, I believe, and he said he's been wanting to get me a new car ever since then. I haven't really cared that much because my car there has been totally fine. Um, I love Subaru, I've had zero problems with that car. It has been great the whole 12 years that I've had it. Um, the only complaints I had about it were I don't like the trunk, I wanted a hatchback, and it was kind of gutless. 
This car here, Subaru has changed the way they do their engines. I'm gonna have to look at the paper because I don't retain any of this kind of stuff. It's a 2.4 direct injection, turbocharged, whatever, 16 valve boxer engine. Anyway, so it's got a turbo in this thing and I can definitely tell. Um, it will definitely get up and go. It may look like a little granny car being an Outback, but this thing will move. So I do love that about it. Um, I didn't want another white car because, you know, I had a white car for 12 years, but I'm not one that washes my cars very much, so it's probably gonna work out for me because white doesn't show anything. Anyway, I will show you really quick instead of blabbing on a little of the interior. Like I said, it is leather, as you can see. Um, that was something that was a nice have. I didn't need it, but it was nice to have. So I'll just get in here and show you. It's easier. Okay, so it's got the driver monitoring thing. It recognizes you, as I think you can see right there. It said, hi, Alicia. Um, this thing is way smarter than me. It's gonna take me a really long time to figure out how to work all this, but it is push to start, which is nice. So, starts right up. And this screen is really nice. It's a 11 inch screen. They've made that a lot bigger from the last ones, I think. The other ones were about half this size. And so you can see it's got all the different stuff on there that I have to figure out because this is nothing at all like my old Subaru over there. And even my husband's car is a 2000, or his truck is a 2015, but they have changed them so much, even in five years with all the stuff that they have pull that back a little bit um, I'm not a car person so I don't even really know what to say about this thing but it has all kinds of safety things um, if you go over the lines at all it's going to give you a warning it kind of beeps at you and flashes in fact kind of embarrassing story when I was doing the test drive not on this one but a different one same engine and everything different color different trim package. Um, I had a little bit of a near collision experience. I was coming off the off ramp and someone was trying to come on it because they do the on and off ramps being the same thing over here on the east side, which is very weird to me. But anyway, I was coming off, they were trying to come on and he almost ended up hitting me and the car started beeping like mad, flashing and the guy from the dealership said that if he would have gotten much closer to the car, the car would have like engaged the brakes itself. So these things are like smart cars, or as my husband says, kit cars, because they basically will almost drive themselves, um, which is kind of weird to me. I don't know how I really feel about that, but that's what's going on with this. It's got all the different safety stuff that you can think of. Um, it's got the, I don't even know what this is called. The SOS stuff where if you get in a crash or whatever, it's gonna automatically send out emergency services to you if you don't respond. I will just look at the list here and see some of the stuff that it does. So it does about everything. Um, yeah, so there's the eyesight driver assist system. If you actually look away, because it scans you, it's constantly watching you, and if you look down or something like you're falling asleep, it's going to beep at you and basically wake you up. So, like I said, it pretty much almost drives itself, which, I mean, we do have cars that drive themselves, so that's not too crazy, but um, totally different than anything I'm used to. It has lane departure and sway warning, which is what I was saying. It has a rear vision camera. It has the brake assist, blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, um, all the different airbags, of course. And like, and I did say that it has a push to start. It's got the obvious. I mean, obviously, with that, it has the um, remote start too. You can start it from your phone. If you lock your keys in there, you can unlock it from your phone. I mean, this thing does pretty much anything I can think of. Oh, up here, that's 
that thing it's the Starlink is what that's called so it does six months free trial of that uh, leather trim seats heated front seats heated mirrors uh, I think I said the back seats are also heated you can set um, I don't know if you can see that but it's driver one and driver two and actually I think you can do more than that on here but you can set it to recognize the driver like I said when I get in here it scans my face and it recognizes me and it will automatically set everything from the seat to my mirrors to where I had it and where I've set it so you can set that for more than one driver um, I don't know how many it does I saw five on the list I don't know if it does more than that but you can set it for several drivers and when they get in it will scan them and adjust everything to their personal settings which is kind of nice if you have you know if you and your spouse or whatever are both driving the car then it's going to go to whatever settings my husband's six foot five obviously my settings are considerably different than his but that's a nice thing um, I like I said I'm not a car person so I don't even know really what else to say I'm just kind of rambling here uh, it does have a moonroof right there which I like I had one in my legacy um, what else I don't know I think one of the biggest things that I do like about this car I'm gonna go ahead and stop it turn it off I will show you one of the biggest things I like about this is the hatchback um, like I said I had a trunk or have a trunk on my legacy and even though it's a decent size I just never could get much in there so so here's the back plenty of space and the seats there fold down and you can just fit all kinds of stuff in here if you need to so I love that about this car as opposed to my legacy got this thing here to pull across um, this is a cargo net I believe and there's full-size spare under there but yeah this was one of the things I wanted was just the nice big hatchback But that's about it guys I don't really know what else to say about this thing I love it it was about an hour drive coming home and so I got to get a pretty good feel of how it drives and stuff and like I said it has a ton more power than my legacy you can definitely say that and it's smoother and it's just I mean it's 12 years newer so obviously it's gonna be nicer all the way around but so far, I absolutely love it, and I'm sure I'm going to continue to love it because I have loved my legacy for the past 12 years. And if my hubby wasn't so sweet and wanted to get me a new car, I would still be driving that legacy and be totally fine with it because there's nothing wrong with it. So anyway, that is my brand new car. I'm super excited, and I am going to have a whole lot of fun driving this thing around. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.